Let's make something clear. I am flashaholic. I have a bunch of flashlights. I use them every day. Modern flashlights are so advanced, useful and creative. So when someone offer me a flashlight, I can't resist. Vurkos send me some samples for free. But I also wanted uh, to create a connection between this channel and a flashlight. So I uh, made this, this Lux meter using VMLL7700 sensor. This sensor is highly recommended for measuring ambient light due to its great precision and range. But it is also perfect for comparing flashlights and different modes. Just to keep in mind, we are measuring lux, not lumens. And after a long time, I decided to use my old friend, the Lily Go T Display S3. This development board practically built this channel and it is still available, very affordable and comes with this Stemma connector, which makes this setup very quick and easy. The light I liked the most is this Vurkos, Vurkos HD03. I never used a light with clip, but I need to say that this is really useful. You can mount this flashlight practically everywhere and make your hands free. There is also magnet here, which also helps. I'm playing with it for a couple of days and I need to say I love this feature. We are Borg, you will be assimilated. This rechargeable tiny light can output 680 lumens. We can change between floodlight and spotlight. It has four modes plus moonlight mode, strobe, battery indicator and some fancy RGB modes or color modes which I also already use as backlight for my bike. I always wanted to measure lumens but for now, looks will be fine. I still can make some rough comparison between flashlights and between modes. So let's see how this sensor behaves under the light. So sensor is reading about 300 looks right now in my room. This is moonlight mode. I think it is one lumen, so 400. This is low, one, 2000. This is mid, 6000 and a half. This is high, 70,000. And this is turbo. 37,000. Keep in mind that as I change direction and ang angle, numbers can also change. Like always, we will take a look at code. I'm using TFT SPI library, nothing fancy, and, and most of included files are just fonts. We are using ESP. 32 time library and this is very easy to install Adafruit VML7700 library. Some variables in setup we need to initialize our sensor, set gain, we need one sprite. We will set brightness. We are using this old code because we need to have old 
board definition for this. So we are using 2014 with this with this libraries setup. We have one a large draw function which will draw everything on screen, many lines, rectangles, texts and this is for that graph, fancy graph and in each cycle in loop function we will measure our looks we will set data and in graph this is all for a graph and we will wait a bit and draw all changes on screen so very easy code very basic one less than 200 lines of code code is in description so feel free to take take a look I had never heard of Vulkos before, but I'm genuinely surprised by the quality and price of their products. Then send me also this. Sorry. HD01 Pro. This is a 1200 lumen beast. And uh, beside the powerful front light and side light it also has built-in laser and ultraviolet light and Rukos also sent me this camping light which is pretty innovative too you can basically set temperature or color of this light it also has some fancy RGB modes and it can also be used as power bank which is also very cool I've used this sensor many times um, it can be used to turn things on and off and I've used it uh, in several solar related projects. Uh, in one case a client wanted to detect when car was approaching their house at night, that was interesting. And I choose this sensor to, de to detect the car headlights and it worked great, I think it's still working. We tried to use it to detect uh, when the box is opened, but we decided to use some other solution that can wake up whole board when light reaches the sensor. The project was battery powered, so sleeping was important. That's it, please. Please. Tell me, do you use the flashlights? Do you find them useful? Today everybody are using um, built-in flashlight in, on their phone. I hate to use that. This is much better solution for, for everything. More power. You can mount this. overall more usage. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.